cars are backed up outside this COVID-19 testing site in Palm Beach Gardens and more of the same here in Delray Beach. The wait was so long at Gaines Park in West Palm Beach, police had to issue a traffic alert and cut off cars at 2 p.m. to allow for everyone to be tested by closing. They also offered advice for those who may line up in the future. Have a full tank of gas, bring some water, snacks, drinks, anything that you may need, including medications for a prolonged wait and also use the restroom before you come out. The mayor of Palm Beach County is aware of the increase in demand for testing and has a plan. We are working very quickly to try and get two additional sites up. We're trying to get the supplies in hand before we announce those two sites, but one will be in Boynton Beach and one will be in Riviera Beach. Good morning, how are you? There was a constant flow of traffic at this appointment only testing site at the Florida Department of Health in Martin County. This man says he's from out of town and will be flying home soon and just wants to be safe. So we took a home kit yesterday and we were negative, but this is a different level. So just to be sure we came to take the, the highest level test. Health officials say they're also seeing an increase in demand this month. They're offering 300 COVID tests per day compared to 50 a day. As we expected, you know, during the holiday season to see uh, the numbers going increasing and that's due to the travel, the social gathering, all the parties and celebration of the holidays. And numbers are also up in St. Lucie County. The first two and a half weeks of December, they average 1,000 to 1,100 tests a day. And officials say over the past week, that number has increased a couple of hundred daily. But they say that excludes Christmas and the day after because sites were closed. And officials here in Palm Beach County say they hope to have those two new sites online by tomorrow. Coming up at 6, we'll hear what one at-home testing business is doing to help fill the demand. Reporting live in Palm Beach Gardens, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.